Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update objects using Hibernate. So far, we've been going through the process of CRUD apps, so we've learned how to create and read objects. In this video, we're going to focus on how to update objects using Hibernate. All right, so here's an example here on how to update a student. So let's say, for example, we already have a transaction created and we've already started a transaction. Then what I want to do is get a student using the primary key. So using information from the previous videos here, I'll say session.get student.class comma student ID. And I set the student ID to one uh, in the previous line. So that'll give me a student object. So I've retrieved a student object from the database. Now what I'd like to do is update this student object that I just retrieved. So what I can do is I can actually use that student and simply set a property. So here I can say uh, my student dot set first name to Scooby. And by setting first name to Scooby, then that, of course, updates the student. At this point, it's only in memory. But then once we commit the transaction, then that'll actually apply to the information in the database or it'll actually update the database. So one thing that's important here to notice is that we simply retrieve the object, we set a value, and then we commit the transaction. There's no hard requirement for us to call session.save or session.update uh, because this student object is a persistent object that we retrieved from the database. We can simply call the appropriate setters and then finally do a commit and that'll actually update the database, which is a, uh, something that's a little tricky it's not what you're commonly used to seeing but once you understand it it's actually really cool so there's no need to explicitly call save or update you simply commit the transaction and i'll show you all this once we get into the coding examples all right so that's how we update one student well what if you wanted to do an update for all of the students so in this example i'm going to update all the students email address to a given value. So here I'll say session dot create query and I'll say update student set email equal to foo at gmail dot com. And then I'd have a dot execute update. So this will basically update all the email addresses to foo at gmail dot com. Now you may not want to set all of the email addresses. Um, you can easily add a where clause. So you could say where um, ID equals one or ID equals five, or you could say where ID is in a certain range. So you can add a where clause here to customize this update. Uh, but for here, just to keep it simple, uh, I'm just going to do a blanket update um, of all the email addresses. So as you can see, it's pretty easy. You simply do a create query and then you do a um, execute update and that's it. Um, so in the next video, um, I'm actually going to dive into Eclipse and uh, I'll show you how to write the code for um, updating objects uh, using Hibernate. So a lot of good things here. Uh, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Yo, yo.